Welcome to RV Max night vision video. How about that? It's about uh, 7.54, 6 minutes to 8 o'clock. We're going to show you this 1998 Vacationer. I got my flashlight ready if you need to. A little bit of a, a decals wore out here. Uh, this is a very quality built motorhome. It's got aluminum exterior. Uh, windshields are made out of a glass and I don't see any cracks or any star cracks. A good shape. A good windshield, okay? Uh, I don't see anything, even though it's dark. V10, uh, 92,000 miles. Do not let its miles scare you. I sold this motorhome. It's one of the rare motorhomes. I sold it about 12 years ago, maybe 13 years ago, when I had a, a business called RVsForLess.com. Went through some, uh, uh, this guy had it forever. Got brand new tires in the front. I mean, they are as old as 24 hours. We did it yesterday evening. Uh, it came back, oh, maybe a little, little more than 24 hours. So we've got brand new two new tires. Uh, take a look at it. Uh, free, it's not foggy, a little bit on top is foggy. I think the passenger side uh, window is a little foggy. The purpose of this video is to just show you good, bad, and ugly. Okay, so we've got a, a look at him in slide, cherry riveted uh, aluminum exterior. They don't make them like that anymore, okay? This is a, this is a, a nicely built Holiday Rambler. A little scratch right there. Oh no, it's not scratch. It's just a little paint chip coming off. Look at it. Complete throughout storage. I can go turn the lights on inside. While you do that, let me turn a light on. You can show them outside. I'll be right back. What I'm going to do is they have a compartment lights, and that's what I'm going to turn it on. And the switch is located in inside. Let's see, step. Storage light. They should be all on now. All right, testing here. Okay, the light came on. Bingo, awesome. So we got a deep storage. This one is complete pass through. Uh, look at this. Just a really nice motorhome. No rust. It's a South Carolina motorhome. Well, I sold it in South Carolina, so I don't have to turn my light on anymore. That's another complete pass-through storage. Generator has about uh, 1,270 hours. Runs good, powers everything up. Let's see, these two doors kind of uh, like to kiss each other a little bit there. Uh, you get that for free. Uh, the scratch comes free, okay? So there's some stuff would come free automatically, so you won't have to pay for it. Huh. Take a look at this. Tires in really good shape. The back tires are Goodyear. The front tires are Ironman. They're made in China. They're good tires. Good, lots of trade. These are Goodyear. I believe it's a Goodyear. Uh, West. I don't know. Take a look at all my pictures. Uh, slide out toppers in good shape. We're probably going to climb up on top in a second. Okay, straight body, no d lamb. So this vacationer is about 36 feet long. It's a 36 SGS. That's a Sierra Golf Sierra. That's the, uh, all right, let's see. Uh, even though it's getting dark, I'm gonna show you any flaws if I see. All right, 30 amp power cord located in this compartment. That's your wet, wet bay. You hook up your hoses here. It's got a sewer. Uh, flush, let's see if it does. No, it doesn't. Well, I don't see one. All right, so maybe a little scratch here. You know, I'm not a nitpick. Just look at my pictures. It's a 1998 model. All right, we're going to talk about this. The ladder, they have a little spider screw. One here, one here. I think they're two. These two are bad. They could be fixed. My RV tech could charge probably 100 to 150 bucks, including a labor. But we're going to climb up on top. It does have a Reese Type 3 hitch. All right. Uh, overall in good shape in the back. All right, let's get up on top and uh, show you the roof. On top of this uh, roof, I think it's a fiberglass roof. Some of them uh, had aluminum roof, just like the exterior. Okay, I'm going to turn a flashlight on if you need it or not. Solid roof. Uh, don't need any maintenance. I, I'm looking at it with my flashlight. All the cockings are in good shape. Front cocking looks good. No water leaks in this motorhome. You know what? I'll take it back. It, it is a metal. It's an aluminum roof. How about that? Yes, indeed. Uh, metal exterior and metal uh, roof. 
hard to find nowadays, okay? Very, very hard to find. Look at this Holiday Rambler tape they put in. It's a two-piece. Uh, look at this skylight. In really good shape, okay? Uh, no worries. Maybe just a little tape on this shroud, but a good, solid metal roof. All right, let's get back down and finish this video. Continue our video with a little bit of flashlight, okay? Got a little scrub right there. All right, but it's a, it's a good mud. I don't know, we may have to do this video over again, but we're gonna try to show it to you as much as we can. Aluminum exterior, uh, this side decals in a little bit better shape. Take a look at the pictures. The video is just to show you again. I think it's still good, you could, you could, you could see it, okay? Uh, a little bit of uh, tearing up on the blue uh, decal. This decals are fine. This is typical stuff. It's nothing new I'm showing you. If you're looking for a new motorhome, you are more than likely not watching this video. You're at the wrong channel. This is not a new motorhome, 1998. Okay, but it's a really good, nice motorhome with a, no D-lambs, spare tire, LP gas tank. Again, take a look at the tires. No uh, dry rider crack, and lots of trades. New tire in the front. Lots of underbelly storage. And this is another one pass through storage all the way. Brand new tire. This window's a little bit foggy. There, that means there's a double pan window. Uh, more R value, okay. Let's step in this motor. We got a power step that opens up. You got a light inside. Now I can put my phone back. I don't need. We don't need a flash. We got a synthetic hardwood floors. We got jacks in this coach. All right. Let's start video in the front. Got a flex steel driver and passenger seat. All right, 92,054 miles, 92054. Uh, power mirrors, we just put a cranking battery, it's a new battery, it's good, generator's running, that's how you turn off and on, got a uh, radio here with a um, see, uh, CD player, uh, dash air, um, I think it does work, yep, the air works, the heat works. Uh, this is a really nice motorhome. Tim kept it in really good shape. Uh, look at here, the walls are all straight, no perforation like some of the old junk motorhome that's sitting around somebody's backyard, not taken care of. This motorhome has seen the road. It was not shy of a road. So I've got jacks down right now. There's a jack system. HWH leveling jacks are right there. Uh, I'm going to uh, take the jacks off. There you go, they're coming up. I had them down, so four leveling jacks. So now I can put in reverse and show you backup monitor. We got a class C back there, you see the back of it. Uh, got an old style TV, but nowadays, man, you can get a, a 50 inch TV, put it here, put it on top here, or something. You know, you, 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 could, you could hang it. I've seen people do all kinds of stuff. There's a VCR, DVD player a little digital converter so you could actually use that old boob tube there there's a digital converter oh he's got the little booster antenna here we got a another cubby some more stuff got all the books and records are right here owner's manuals and all that stuff he's located right here he changed much of this uh the, he put it's got a him and his wife did a lot of upgrade you'll see it there's an extra wall lights goes here lamps you see this thing it's a little nice stuff they did they got rid of that tattered up old style um uh, what you call the uh day and night shades all the walls in good shape okay no perforation no uh, water damage i mean i just can't believe how nice shape this is in they they put this wallpapers on e every uh, uh side moldings and put some custom design throw pillows. Uh, sofa is in really good shape. No uh, no tears or rips or any stains. So we've got another... Man, I like this. It's got a very, very homey touch. So these are new lamps here. 
Summer is filled with the breaking the rules. So they broke rules. They got all the factory stuff out. Put it. They also cover this up right here. We got two chairs here. There are two additional chairs are located back in the bedroom and has a extension so it'll open up and you got a leaf that goes here so you can allow four person to sit down and eat here. Uh, got a little disc uh, CD player here. Uh, coffee maker. Some more storage. I like this uh, wooden floor. It's really nice. Synthetic wooden floor. It's like a vinyl plank. This, they, they, they look like a wood pieces. They're not the square cheap cheap tile. These are like they look like a wood. Okay. Uh, double sink. Take a look at how clean this motorhome is. We've got a convection oven. I'll just turn the generator off, otherwise we could turn a surface light on. Uh, very clean three burner stove. Traditional oven. Some spice rack, spice cabinet if you would call that. Double door refrigerator back here. One's on LP gas and electric power. It works. Uh, thermostat is here. It's got a, a two roof airs on top. It's carpeted from here. Uh, I think I'm going to have it detailed uh, and, and, and put some plastics down. We've got a little corner table, I guess, if you'd call. And you'd like this. Got a nice center part of a coach. Have a private toilet and a enclosed glass enclosed shower with this sink with lots of counter space, medicine cabinet. Wow, we got a nice soap dispenser. How about that? And a toothbrush. Wow, it's really nice. All right, let's open that. Uh, See how clean it is. No water leaks. I mean, it's just a solid, nice vinyl ceiling. This is a extremely well kept Holiday Rambler. First of all, they're made quality to begin with, and then then this one is just taking care of it very well. All right, let's uh, continue on here. It's a side aisle floor plan. I like that, and that gives you a east to west bed configuration rather than uh, north and north and south. And then with the center uh, aisle, if you're sleeping and you have a guest, if you didn't have a bedroom door shut, they see your feet. I mean, people uh, prefer east to west bed. And again, you see this? Some cabinets here. And by the way, you got a complete privacy back in the bedroom. I like this. This is just a super nice floor plan. For 1998, it was a. Uh, all right, back here we have a. Oh, nice LCD TV. So they did put a new TV back here. The older TV went in here. And look here, we got lots of drawers. Oh, bunch of drawers. Okay. The drawer channel guide sometimes they break. All right, back here we got a uh, two extra chairs. So you get it. There are two chairs here and some shoe rack on that side. And some more drawers under there too. How about that? Got nightstand on the both side with the drawers. All right, uh, this will conclude our, video, uh, conclude our video for going around outside and on, on top of the roof. We may finish this video with the getting up on the highway. See how this good old motorhome drive, Escape to the Freedom off a of Sea. I know Tim and his wife, they loved the beach, so they got that little beach theme going here. Keep calm and dream on. All right, so this 1998 uh, Holiday Rambler Vacationer, Model 36 SGS. Let's put it on the road, and uh, before we put it on the road, I'm going to show you how the slide comes in. They're slow, but now it tells you I've got engine turned off. Just about every single light in this coach are on. That tells you my battery for a, a coach is strong. 
I mean, we're, we're using lots of amperages right now, especially when you're getting a slide in. All righty. Now slide is in. We're going to make a little check on outside, make sure all the jacks are up, and we're going to get on the road. Let's do that. 